Hi guys, happy Monday. It's JJ here, I probably timed it wrong. A whole your mums and dads picking up kids from school. But uh, I just had a thought and I just go off the cuff sometimes and <laughs> I just wanna share some thoughts that I thought that would be valuable for whoever's listening, whether you're listening to this or listening to the recording. Uh, make sure if you're listening to it, Give me a love heart, say hello, because sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. So uh, even though I can do that pretty well, it, it's nice to know that I've got other people there listening to me and finding my thoughts of value. So so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, it's really relevant considering last week I had my business, my BBMs, my business breakthrough mastery guys at my house. And we had an awesome time. We went through the human identity formula, which is pretty deep. And there were some really great outcomes for the guys there. And we had the wonderful Jess Douglas or Jessica Douglas. Look her up. Uh, <coughs> she's three times the world mountain bike champion. She's freaking amazing. And we had the honor of having her at my house talking to my BBMs, which was brilliant. And she's just got a book out. Uh, so I look her up, Jess Douglas. And she talked a lot about sacrifice. Now to be a world champion mountain bike rider, three times, not just once. You can imagine that there would be some sacrifices that you would have to make to actually achieve that. And it was really great to listen to what those sacrifices are. And even if we don't relate, oh, it's getting a bit windy here. I hope you can hear me okay. Even though we don't re maybe won't relate from a, even if it's a physical aspect, or if you're not a mountain bike rider, it doesn't matter because the principles are the same in regards to success. That if we want something so much, we often have to sacrifice. We have to, there's sacrifices that we have to make in regards to achieving what we want to achieve. And I think about my business, and I've been in business for a long time now, and I've made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, we sold homes for the business. Uh, at the start, three years ago, when the world went crazy, uh, it was really challenging, right? I had all my events. I had a retreat organized. I had events happening. And I lost a lot of money. I lost about $100,000, uh, just like that. Uh, and that was freaking tough and I had to try and move online and, uh, ver and, and really move my business very, very quickly. And it was freaking tough. I had to sacrifice a lot of things. Uh, one of them was time with my friends because I had to build something. I lost some people that were working with me at the time and uh, they went on and did their own thing and there were challenges around that as well. Uh, so there's lots of sacrifices in business we have to make uh, and I was thinking about this today because I've got a friggin bung knee I've got a really bung knee I've had it um, for many many years when I used to dance I dislocated it and I've dislocated a few times now and uh, and one of my focuses this year is health because if anything, and I think all of us will have some nemesis in our life, if you do the wheel of life and you look at all the aspects of your life, usually what happens is one aspect will fall when you're not in line and when you're not moving and flowing really well. And the wheel that falls off for me is health. And so, my mission this year is to get out, walk, eat well, fill my mind with, with amazing information and grow. 
Uh, and so even that takes sacrifice, right? Because, you know, right now I've got a bung knee. I'm limping, look like an old little old lady. <laughs> uh, but I'm doing it. I'm still out walking. I might be slower, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm still, I'm still keeping my promise to me that that's what I'm going to do. And Jess said a, an amazing story. There was a lots of sacrifices that, that were made for Jess to become a world champion. But she told us about a story where she's on the bike and she's doing her race and she had to weigh up. She had two options that she had to weigh up. One option was, do I stop and have a wee? <laughs> and she had to weigh up, weeing or world champion? Weeing or world champion? And she's like, oh, I'm weighing it up. Do I stop for a wee and I might jeopardise time that will affect me becoming a world champion mountain bike rider or do I sacrifice the wee? <laughs> and there's a little video on it uh, you'll see on my post if you if you look uh, I posted today there's some photos and a couple of little short videos and there's a video of her talking about this and so what she did was she said I want to be a mountain a world champion mountain bike uh, rider priority so the we came second so the interesting thing is so she just can't continue to, to ride her bike and we at the same time now she does mention that that <laughs> that uh, takes a little bit of skill because and I didn't even think about this and she puts it like you know when you tap your, your head and with the other hand you rub your tummy she said because you, you've got so much going on in the race you know, from riding your bike and uh, and you know watching watching the road thinking about your speed thinking about your technique and then you've got to time in doing that as well and so she's like she had to time it in <laughs> somehow uh, which I thought was fascinating I wouldn't even thought of that uh, but I think that's a really great uh, description or story in regards to sacrifice. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys sacrifice a lot. A lot of you guys are doing amazing stuff. Uh, Kerry Fitz, uh, Gibbon, who used to do my social media at one point, who's amazing. Uh, she's a marathon runner. She, I think she's called the Marathon Girl. And she, you know, she goes for mar does marathons and, you know, her feet bleed and like it's just what people do and what they sacrifice and what they put in is just amazing. And so, and I know there was a quote and I've written it down because I wouldn't remember it, that Jess said, and it's from Jerry Rice. And the quote says, today I will do what others won't. So tomorrow I will do what others can't so I'll say that again today I will do what others won't so tomorrow I will do what others can't and I just think that is such a great quote and it's that one percent this is what Jess talks about the one percenters you know that little bit more that you do that no one else will do will get you over the edge those one percenters and it doesn't mean that, and it's even though you might have a big goal right now, it's putting him into those bite-sized pieces and keep doing those little bits and little bits and little bits. And you keep chipping and chipping and chipping away. Just keep going. Um, and those one percenters will add up. They'll add up to that big goal that you want to get. Uh, so it's not necessarily, sometimes we look at the goal and it, and it looks so big. Uh, because there's so much to do and there's so many moving parts and we have to grow to become the person we need to be to actually achieve that goal. So it can, it can look overwhelming. Uh, and hello, good morning. Oh, good afternoon. <laughs> Don't know what time it is. 
Uh, and so those one percenters just keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away is so important. And then when you look at, you know, being the best at whatever you do, the best coach, the best mum, the best dad, the best husband, the best wife, the best sister, the best friend, the best teacher, whatever it is, it's that one percenter and the sacrifices that are going to get you there uh, to give you the edge. So I thought that was a really fantastic message that Jess shared. Uh, so make sure you go look, have a look at my post that I posted before uh, because here yeah, there's a couple of little videos. She does talk about the one percenter and I think that's uh, really fantastic. So I trust that's been valuable for you guys. As I said, we all have to sacrifice. Um, within my business, I've sacrificed a lot, whether it be time with family, time with friends, um, things. You know, as I said, that, that first year, three years ago, when shit hit the fan in the world, um, I quickly lost about 100 grand uh, like that. And so that was freaking challenging, right? And fortunately, I had uh, clients that were so flexible and so amazing and so understanding in regards to flexing programs and stuff like that so um so that's been a godsend for me so thank you guys if you've got any comments please make sure that you pop them i know that i'm probably uh doing this live at the uh wrong time because it's school pickup so i trust that we'll get some people on later after you've picked the kids up uh but i am someone that when i have a thought i just go for it and uh I just want to share. So whoever's listening, I trust that that's been valuable for you. If you know someone that needs to hear that message, share it. You know, share it because, um, and I'm not saying with sacrifices, you know, I think there's a, a definitely a balance for that, you know, because we, we've got to live, right? And so I know for me that I have very clear boundaries in regards to my life and what that looks like. And I think that's very important too. So when I say I have sacrificed times with my family and my friends and, uh, and different, different other aspects, there's also some, some boundaries that I've put in place that are very strong. Uh, actually, someone messaged me last week and said, oh, JJ, can you do a, uh, an interview with me? I said, yeah, sure, all good. Uh, they said, can you do it on the weekend? I said, no, weekends are out. Uh, and so, and of course, there's the one-offs that I would do. If it's really important. Of course, I used to run my events on weekends, but I have strict boundaries around that. So I think that's really important. So please don't misinterpret what I'm saying because I know some people uh, are very black and white when it comes to listening to information. Please understand that there are sacrifices that you will need to make to achieve the results that you want but there's also boundaries that you need to put in place so that you can create that life that you love too so i think there's a good harmony between the two of those so i trust that that's been helpful please make sure that you uh, do g give a like or uh, put a comment any questions you've got below or any insights that you've got that would be valuable for others that are listening that would be awesome Thank you guys, I'm gonna keep limping <laughs> with my bung leg. Uh, it's a bit windy today, but uh, have a great one and I will talk to you soon. Thanks guys.